Hey, we have a new section on the website I wanted to introduce you to, uh, Docs. So link to the website in the description below. And when you click on Docs, you will end up on this section that looks like Docs. The thing is, um, these are not only our documentation for, for example, our tools, like our Blender add-on power sequencer. You will also find things like the sections called guidelines. The thing is, there are some useful parts to it. So these are the guidelines we follow at GDQuest work on our projects. But for example, you have some best practices in GDScript and the things we use to work efficiently as a team that are hosted there now. So this is a style guide that I believe some of you are using. Anyway, uh, this section also has two guides to learning paths to learn Godot. The beginner edition of Make Games with Godot and developer edition. These are living documents that we'll talk about in a future news, but um, there are curated lists of tutorials, free resources you can use to learn Godot step by step. Um, so you will find the tutorials in order, right? In each section, you will find tutorials for each learning stage when getting uh, to work with Godot. And we have an edition for developers who already have experience with another game engine, who are already uh, experienced with development in general and don't necessarily need purely step-by-step -step tutorials. So you have this guide. Links are in the description. Then this new section of the website is based on the learn theme. You can see the links in the bottom left of the page. Um, for Hugo, for the website generator we are using. And on every page, you will find an icon in the top left that gives you a table of content, a table of content that follows you along. So you can click the links to scroll to that part of the, the document you are reading. You also have a search bar that searches through the entire website right now. It's not limited to the docs, but for example, if I search for contributing or something like that, you will find the articles instantly. Um, you will also find what else is there? Oh, a few more interesting features. Yeah, you have this uh, copy button. Every time you have some code element, we have to tune it to update some of the articles for that. But when you have a code block, you have this copy button to copy entire snippets all at once. And that's about it. A button to go back to gdquest.com. And that's only the first of some new features we want to bring to the website moving forward. But hopefully, we're going to make it more useful as we go. With that, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Check the docs in the description below. But that said, be creative, have fun. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.